Hi, and welcome to the 2019 uh, question three on the paper two of the Leaving Cert Ordinary Level. As usual, if you want these set of notes I'm working off, just send me an email uh, at shanetroy at gmail.com. I'll send you on all the different notes I have. The email address should be in the description below. I'd suggest having a pause of the video and just reading through the question and having a go, see how you get far you get. Um, probability is tricky. You're always trying to remember the formula, which you're not given. But the uh, probability of an event okay, is given by okay, the number of things that can happen in a given scenario okay, over the total. And that formula can help with a lot of different situations. Now, usually you're making a probability because of fraction. But a fraction, decimal, same thing, just the same number expressed slightly different ways. Anyway, the answer here, okay, is the probability of, um, no, sorry, I should read the question. In a population, the probability that a person has blue eyes is 0.7. Now, probability score between 0 and 1, as I said here, okay, so 0.7, it's fairly likely that somebody is going to have blue eyes in any person picked randomly from that population. So one person is chosen at random from that population. What's the probability that this person does not have blue eyes. Well, if 0.7 is blue eyes, the difference between that and 1 is 0.3. That's not blue. That's fairly straightforward. And there's a good 10 marks for that. Okay, so happy days um, if you can deal with that. And I would have marked the paper too, and this is fairly well answered. So B, two people are chosen at random. What is the probability that both have blue eyes? Now, the trick here, I, I know the answer is here. and in a sense, when the answer is in front of you, it's easy. It's trying to figure these things out with nobody there to help or in just you're kind of basing it on past knowledge or past experience. And each each situation or scenario was different, so it, it, I find probability it can challenge me. Okay, Practice makes perfect. I've gotten better and better and better over years, but I'm still never in a comfort zone. But from my experience here, this basically, this question is saying, what's the probability that, that you have two people with blue eyes and another person with blue eyes. Now the word and is important in probability. And means multiply. Okay, if this was person blue eyes or blue eyes, it'd be a different situation. You'd be adding the probabilities. Okay, actually you couldn't, couldn't do that here. Whatever. Um, so it's 0.7, which is the probability of a person having blue eyes, and so you're multiplying. Blue eyes is also 0.7. Okay, multiply that to number together, two numbers together, I got 0.49. That's it. Okay, now part C here, again, slightly more complex situation. Three people are chosen random. Okay, now sometimes it can be helpful to kind of, you know, visualize that. Um, you can go like person, a person, and a person. And you kind of get, you know, so what's the probability that exactly two of them have blue eyes? You think of the three people. The first person could be blue, okay, they could be blue, or they could be not blue. Okay. Now that's the or they could be blue, not blue, blue. Okay, so we just supposed to answer. Person could have blue and blue and not blue, or they could be blue, not blue, blue, or could be not blue, blue and blue. So the because the order doesn't matter here, okay. Um, we can, so in one sense, keep it simpler. If you're doing the first grouping here, blue, blue, not blue, it's 0 0.7 by 0 0.7 by 0 0.3. Then the second grouping, blue, not blue, blue. Okay. So it's blue and blue and not blue, so they're multiplied. But it could also be, so R means you add, okay, and then you have the, the same scenario again, blue, not blue, blue. Or it could be, not blue, blue, blue. So you, you want to end up putting that through the calculator or whatever. And if you do it properly, you come up with 0.441. And that's it. Now, that is incredibly complicated. If you think it through and visualize it, it'll make sense. But if you can't do that, don't knock yourself in the head. Because it is, we often call it counterintuitive. It's, our brains struggle to think at that level because it's hard to keep so many competing um, pieces of information in your head at any one time. 
and you're not alone in that regard like me is i would argue most people and that's part c okay the last part here part d says four people yay just for the fun of it are chosen at random one after another so that's important for a reason we'll see hopefully in a second what that is what's the probability that the fourth person of the four chosen is the only one to have blue eyes okay so basically the first person will be not blue and not blue and not blue and blue okay so that's your basic scenario okay so that's what we're kind of saying here so it's point three and by times because and times point three times point three times point seven multiply those numbers together you got point zero one eight nine now, if you get that, again, that was actually probably easier than C. Um, if you're struggling with these last parts, B, C, and D, and again, they are tricky, I suggest aim for the attempts, okay, like the low partial twos. And any multiplication of 0.3 by 0.3 or 0.3 by 0.7 would have gotten you the low partial. Okay, so if you're completely stuck, multiply some stuff together. And you know, if it's wrong, it's wrong, fair enough. If you can grab two marks here, two marks there, it all adds up and gets you that much closer to success. Right, so that's question three, and I'll see you on.